Okay, this is question one, part C. Um, this last part asks us to figure out, um, using Kirchhoff's current law, find the magnitude and phase angle of the supply current at what they call IS. So let's draw what where this IS would be. Um, IS would be um, would be leaving here like this. So the IS, and it's a phaser. Well, it's a sinusoid, but we're going to represent it as a phaser. So let's figure out what that IS value is. Let's just remind ourselves from the last part of the question that we figured out what some of these currents were already. So we figured out that IR um, in its phasor form was 8 amps amplitude at an angle of a shift of 30 degrees. And we also figured out the current in the capacitor was the sinusoid um, with an amplitude of 12 amps and it was shifted at an angle of 100 and 20 degrees. Um, Kirchhoff's current law would say that all the currents, so at, we're going to look at, at this node here. Well, this is all the same node. Everything up here can be considered the same node. It's all connected together. So what is the current entering and leaving? And what we see is that the current entering is IS. So that gets a positive sign. And the current leaving is minus IR. So it's plus IS minus IR because it's leaving, minus IC because it's leaving, and minus IL because it's leaving, and that should all be equal to zero. That's Kirchhoff's current law. So what we get, which is probably what we could have intuitively just guessed, which is the source current going in is equal to the sum of all the currents which are leaving. So plus IC plus IL. And we know the values for each of these three currents. They're written down over here. So we have this guy, this guy, and this guy. We've got to add them together. And it seems straightforward, but the trick is, the, well, the problem is that I want to add numbers together, complex numbers. So this is just a mathematics problem now, manipulating complex numbers. I want to add three complex numbers together, and so I prefer them in, to be in Cartesian form, but they're in polar form, so I'm going to have to convert them. Well, let's just write them down in polar form first, so we'll have 6, um, sorry, we won't have 6, we will have 8 at an angle of 30, so 8 at 30 degrees, plus um, IC is 12 at 120 degrees, plus IL is 6 at minus 60 degrees. Um, I need to convert these to Cartesian. I'm not going to do it here. Well, let, let me just do one on the side just to show you how to do it if you need to do it by hand. Um, let's change color to green. So, um, what does 8 at an angle of 30 degrees mean? Well, it's shorthand for 8 um, <coughs> e to the j, 30 degrees. And if you remember Euler's formula, that's 8 cosine of 30 degrees plus j 8j sine let's do that again, it's a bit messy plus j 8 sine of 30 degrees be careful here, you're about to use your calculator to calculate cosine make sure it's in radians or degrees, so in this case I've got 30 degrees so I want my calculator set to be in degrees please check that that's what you actually have um, and if you do that you should get um, 6.93 for 8 multiplied by cos 30 plus j4 sine of 30 is a half, so a half by 8 is 4 so we can put that in over here, and we would have, um, apologies, let me switch to black. So let's write them down, we've got 6.93 plus J4, and we can also add on the other ones which I've calculated earlier, or it's minus 12, and um, wrong, minus 6 minus 6 plus j 10.39 plus 
3 minus j5.196. And now that's much easier. So we want to add these three complex numbers together, and they're all in Cartesian form, so x and y form. So we add the real parts, and we get 3.93. Um, and we add the imaginary parts, and we get 9.194. Um, that's the current, so it's going to be amps. Um, and I think it says in the question, um, find the magnitude and phase angle. So we need to change this back uh, to be a phaser. So remember, this is a complex number. So it's going to be out 3.93 in the real. And it's going to be up 9.194. So the magnitude is the length of this line. So that would be, we've gone off the page, have we? Um, you got to use Pythagoras' theorem here, so it's the square root of, uh, just do it quickly, 3.93 squared plus um, 9.194 squared. And you should get uh, 10, or very close to uh, 10. And at an angle of 66.8. 8, 6 degrees. Where did I get that from? This happens to be, let's change color because it's getting a bit tight. This happens to be inverse tan of um, the y over the x, so it's 9.194 divided by 3.93. And it's a current, I believe. So the units will be amps. That's it.